Hi everyone, hello and welcome back to this new session. Today we're going to be working on unit 8. We're going to do a review about the units, but today we're going to do a review about unit 8. So for that I have my student's book here and it's on page 96 where we have the start of the beginning of the unit where do they come from okay um that's it so we're going to show you um the presentation that i used when we started this unit and the other unit so where do they come from remember that we talk about the countries the materials the products but we also talk about the passive voice in present or in past. Okay, now let's check. Uh, countries and their people, we have China. Let me see. Okay, we have China, Brazil. I want you to repeat with me, please. Italy, Greece, Germany, Russia, Japan, Canada, Austria, Netherlands or Holland, Sweden, France, uh, United States or America, England or UK. Remember, UK means United Kingdom and US, United States. We also have other countries such as Spain, Austria, Norway, Philippines, Mexico, Ireland, and Luxembourg. Which of these countries would you like to visit? I would like to visit them all. For example, I would like to visit Ireland because Ireland is so beautiful. I would like to visit Australia because of the animals also Greece Greece has the most the most beautiful beaches in the world also France also Canada also England all of those countries which one would you like to visit okay now we can check the materials we have wood paper plastic metal, cotton, fabric, glass, rubber, ceramic, leather, wool, stone. Okay, one more time. Wood, paper, plastic, metal, cotton, fabric, glass, rubber, ceramic, leather, wool stone and the products we have infinity and numbers of products but we have blankets flower pots plates rough tire and towel okay now let's check the passive voice okay to make sentences using passive voice, you need to learn your past participle verbs. Okay, so that's what I gave you these charts. We have um, the charts that they show in your infinity uh, form, past simple and past participle. We are going to use past participle. You need to learn past participle because now, eh, de ahora en adelante, esos son los verbos que van a usar, pas, pasado participio. Con los temas que van a ver ahora, van a usar puro pasado participio, ¿ok? Este, ok, we have been, become, began, beaten, bleed, broken, brought, built, and so on. We have numbers, we have a lot. Okay, and we have, remember that we have regular verbs. The regular verbs are the same as um, in past participle, a past participle. The regular ones 
are the ones that you only add ed. For example, accepted, jump, killed, uh, kissed, learned, okay? And the regular ones are the ones that change. Son los que cambian su forma o su estructura. Okay, now, passive voice. I am known. Okay, we always start the sentences with the subject. Okay, we can have uh, lots of different subjects, but uh, next to the subject, we are going to add the verb to be in present, okay? Because it is present, uh, passive voice in present. This time, pay attention, it is in present. Now, um, then next to the uh, verb to be in present is going to be the past participle verb. For example, beaten, danced, written, and what else? Flew, sing, sang, sung, okay? Lots of different. The negative sentences, you are going to start by the subject, then the verb to be and not. I'm not, you are not or you aren't, he is not or he isn't, okay? And then the past participle verb. Now the questions. Las preguntas, um, remember, Ahora las preguntas las vamos a iniciar con el verbo to be y luego el sujeto, ¿ok? Y de último, eh, el pasado participio. Eh, short answers. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. ¿Ok? We have examples. Eh, now. Uh, past, passive voice in past. We start by the subject and then we add the verb to be in past. Recuerden que eh, el verbo to be en presente tenemos tres formas. Eh, am, is o are. But in past we have was y were. Solo tenemos dos formas del verbo to be en pasado. No me pongan más, solo es was and were. And then we have the past participle verb. I was known, you were known, okay? And the negative will be, I wasn't known, you weren't known, okay? These shirts were made in Canada. My cell phone was created in Korea. Okay, we have uh, this chart that you did on your notebooks with the verbs you need to keep studying your verbs, okay? Now, more of this. And the review. The savanna is run by beautiful giraffes. All the reservations are made by the wedding planner, okay? We have the subject, a verb to be. Made is the past participle verb. By the wedding planner is the rest of the sentence, okay? So, we also learn about the main opinions and the reasons. A main opinion is used to express your idea and the reasons are a cause, an explanation or justification of your main opinion. That's it for today and we are not going to have homework or assignment for today. So, please um, study, check your notebooks, try to keep studying your past participle verbs because it's really important that you get them all. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice and beautiful day. Keep studying, keep working like that because you are all doing an excellent job at home. I'll see you the next time. Bye!